Welcome back, gang! Yo, it's at Sober Ryu. Again, with the Schmodown run back. You know what time it is. You know what you have to do. If you're gonna watch this video before you do, you need to go over to, there we go, I got it right this time. YouTube.com slash Collider Videos. Collider Videos. Make sure to go there on YouTube. You've never been before, man. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, you just, just, just subscribe right now. And you also are a, a employee to watch the video that I'm doing commentary on first. There's a link down below in the descriptions where you can find that video. It's right there where it says, watch this video first in large capital letters. You can't fucking miss it. You really can't. But make sure you go there and watch the video first for this. So that way you can take the time to answer the questions yourself. Do your own commentary off camera. That's right. Cause I'm the fool is doing it on camera, y'all. <laughs> exposed but um yeah um make sure to watch the video first it, and it helps to support the video with the views that it garnishes and um also you want to go ahead and be able to uh you want to go there and you want to comment on the video and you also want to go ahead and uh rate the video that helps the video gain traction and hopefully will trend so that way more people will check it out more views come to the show the show keeps to keep going and that's what's up man thanks to everybody who actually um, have started to come to the channel and watch these commentary videos. I'm honored that you guys would watch me do commentary in these videos in the first place. And I want to thank you guys, man. I posted up a, a link to the playlist. There's a playlist now here on Shinjuku Station. So you can go to the playlist and check out the videos. And if you go there, you'll be able to watch all the um, previous uh, Shmodan runbacks that I've done. Each episode does come with a, a description for um it comes in the description there's a link to each of the actual videos that you should check out first before watching mine so thank you for doing that thank you for supporting the schmodown uh if, as long as the show keeps going i'll i'll do my best to keep up with uh with commentaries on episodes let me not knock mics around i got two mics one here off camera one it's actually kind of on camera and then one right here hopefully it can capture my voice and i'm not coming in too hot son but i also want to give a big thank you to uh several people um i want to give a big thank you to varnus if you guys don't know, Varnus is a, a cat that's been supporting Sinjuku Station for a long time, a good friend of mine. He actually left to go back to Australia from my house a couple weeks ago, and he and I used to watch the Schmodown together when he was uh, here staying with me. So, big ups to him. He watches all the way from Australia. If you don't know him, check out Varnus Azura on Twitter. I uh, also want to give a big thank you to Late to the Party. They're another uh, commentary uh, channel on YouTube, literally called Late to the Party. If you've never checked them out before, check them out, man. They do a lot of great commentaries on TV shows, uh, also commentaries on other YouTube videos, on movie trailers, cool things like that. If you've never checked them out before, go check them out, man. Um, they've been, um, they kind of encouraged me to do commentaries on this because once uh, they started doing it, Christian Harloff mentioned it on uh, the Schmodown and he mentioned it on other programs on Collider and that they were doing commentaries and it kind of enticed me to do it too. And also, speaking of Christian Harloff, I want to give a super big thank you to him. He actually um, just noticed that I've been doing these videos after I posted up information of it on um, the Facebook group. He was the one who actually okayed the post on the link I put up to the playlist and he checked out some of the videos and he left a comment on one of the videos, the most recent one I did. Um, having to do with the championship match and he uh, he uh, he said I was doing a great job so thank you sir you guys do an even greater job with producing the show and all the other shows on Collider and on Schmoes No uh, for those who don't know the Schmodown actually started as a segment uh, part of the Schmoes No movie show which you can find over on youtube.com slash Schmoes No they have uh, live shows every Wednesday um, you can run back the old Schmodown episodes over on that channel and of course the new Schmodown episodes the ones uh, produced by Collider and Schmoes Know together right here on right over on youtube.com slash Collider videos Definitely do that again. Thank you Christian. I really appreciate you posting up that tweet um, With the link to one uh, to my latest video. Thank you so much I really do appreciate it and I return the favor by telling you guys to make sure to check out and run back all the episodes of the Schmodown before you check out my runbacks because it's super important that that's that happens and props to everybody else who's uh discovering the show through these commentaries thank you so much for giving the show a chance uh, hunter slasher is another cat over on twitter that um also been a long time shinjuku station supporter and um he had said to me that he uh, after being exposed to this he said it was a great combination of wwe three uh, wwe uh theatrics and uh movie trivia He's, he didn't think that those two things would ever go together and lo and behold it feels uh it feels a uh it scratches an itch <laughs> That we didn't even know we needed to be scratched. So, um, and, but if anything, it's a great show, and I've been uh, digging it ever since it's been uh, popping. So, 
Anyway, <clears throat> today's episode is a matchup, a team-based matchup, but we're back to doing uh, another team uh, episode, uh, commentary on team episodes. And uh, this matchup is between Team Trek, uh, featuring uh, Scott Mance. Scott Movie Mance! Yeah! I fucking love that guy. You have no idea. I do an impression of him because he impresses me every time he's on the mic, man. I fucking love that guy. His his beef with Mance, his battles with Mance on uh, the uh, movie trivia showdown, and of course movie fights are, are are episodes of legend. Anytime they they battle, they just bring out the best and the worst of each other. You have to say Roca and Mance. That's the original uh, Joker and Batman <laughs> of the showdown league, man. Um, of course, Roca has a great rivalry with uh, Riley too. Um, they're also pretty. Um, they also are good friends. They used to co-host Far Far Away together, which is a podcast that was Star Star Wars uh, based. They used to listen to it back when Christian and uh, Tiffany used to do the show, and then eventually uh, Mance and uh, Riley became the hosts before it actually um, they had, before they both left the show. So, if anything, it's uh it's it's cool to see that everybody still circles each other over here on the Schmodown, and all the people who used to work with each other are still working with each other. That's really cool. Um, my predict. Oh, I forgot to talk about Team Heroes, which is my favorite for this match. Team Heroes is consisted of, uh, well, God, I'm, I'm jumping all around. Team Trek is not only Scott Mance, but also Jason Inman. Jason Inman's cool. Uh, sometimes, uh, he says some things that I don't agree with, but you know what? It's good to have discourse, man. It's good to have back and forth. Jason Inman's not a bad dude. Uh, but, you know, if anything, I wouldn't say he's one of my favorite players, but he's cool. Um, but yeah, Mance, I love that guy. Fucking. Everything, every, everything, every time he's involved with something, every time I see him randomly somewhere, it's like I always smile because that guy's, the guy's, his energy is just undeniable. But uh, now I can talk about Team Heroes. Team Heroes is my favorite for this session, and Team Heroes consists of, uh, uh, sorry, John Roca. Oh, I got Roca on the brain. Let me fix my face. Oh my God. Sorry, John Schnepp, the legendary big John Schnepp. He's the best. He's one of my favorite people in the world, especially on Collider. After being introduced to him on um, Collider Movie, sorry, AMC Movie Talk way back in 2011, when uh, a friend of mine, uh, Elliot, exposed me to uh, AMC Movie Talk, and one of the first episodes of that show I watched had Schnepp on it. Uh, ever since then, man, I've been a big fan of his and everything that he does. So props to Schnepp, man. That guy is always, it, it's, it's gold every time he hits the mic, man. It's the best. Um, and also Robert Meyer Burnett, which I was introduced to one of Schnepp's shows, which is here on Collider, or well, not here, but on YouTube.com slash Collider videos called Heroes, where they talk about comic book movies and comic books in general. Uh, Robert Meyer Burnett is a director, and he also is a producer of uh, content for like DVD and uh, Blu-ray extras, and he does a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff for movies, too. If you've never been exposed to him, definitely... Um, Check him out on Twitter at BurnettRM. Uh, he's a really cool cat, man. Old school anime fan, too, which blew my mind when I heard him talking about uh, Captain Harlock and Star Blazers and Robotech over on Heroes, man. He's like the anime representation on that show. So props to him. He loves Ghost in the Shell, too. Myself, I, I love that shit, uh, especially uh, Standalone Complex. But props to them, man. Uh, they're my favorites to win this, man. Robert Meyer Burnett is... He's a, he's a, he's a guy to... Uh, He's a guy who's very knowledgeable, and his knowledge base is, is very strong, and I think that he can carry that team. Schnepp, when Schnepp is in uh, the mood to play the game, uh, he's very good. Or if it's a con if it's a if it's a category he knows, he's in it. He's in it like fire. He's he's in that ass. But um, sometimes he can be. He can, sometimes he can be a little. Uh, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> sometimes he could not give a fuck. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> We'll see what happens. It's a toss-up, man. It's a toss-up. But if anything, I still love the guy. He's the best. Um, but yeah, man, we're about to get it in. Um, after this, uh, after the episode, I have some predictions for upcoming matches. Uh, Christian Harloff just recently posted up a, um, a, a new updated schedule over on the uh, on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash group slash schmodown. If you've never been there, definitely go there and check that out. Um, when you go, you'll see that his pinned tweet right now, or his pinned post right now, is actually a bunch of predictions for matches. And I have a couple, not only mat, uh, the winners of those matches, but also um, also uh, my matchup uh, scoring for each, te uh, each team or each competitor. So I'll go ahead and run that down towards the end of the video. So come back, uh, stick around and check that out. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get this going. Let's get this popping. Again, make sure you go and you check out the original video first. Or if you're crunched for time and you want to uh, 
run both videos in tandem if you're able to do that definitely um, what you want to do is to start the video when I say one I count down from three to one as always and if you do that um, you can go ahead and sync up both videos that also works too and uh, thank you for doing it either way let's go we're gonna get this popping on one three two one Woohoo! let's do this y'all the planet on blast as always colliders Turn an Earth into Krypton. <laughs> Look at these cats flexing, boy. Look at Mance, he's so happy to be there. Look at him, he's beaming, son. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready. Scott fucking well, Mance, son. To the movie trivia showdown. It's the team league. It's, it's the fellas in the building, man. I see. I am Mark Ellis and Christian. Every five he is indeed. Man. Go baby carrots. I can see it. We have four nerds here ready to do battle. Team heroes. His, his chest hairs are tingling. What are these pants hanging? Get sweatier today. <laughs> There's a lot of story here with this match, Mark, because you have both of these teams. With the, what they can say, the only thing that they're probably going to agree on is that they both both teams hate the Patriots. They do. Um, if you look Who at Team though? Track, Team Track is three and one. They are. Some people think that they the are the hates the Patriots. Champions going down to sudden death. Scott Mance will tell you that it was the judge's fault uh -oh. that he actually buzzed in first. They should be the champions. And you also have the last time that Schnepp and Burnett were together, it was a loss to the Patriots. Oh, that's yeah, right. I mean, neither that's one of these right. Teams can tell you who plays wide oh, receiver yo, the on the Oh, yo, the salt that must have fucking incurred, man. Look at JT's whack-ass dancing. This matchup today, it's really the dichotomy of Team Trevor. Oh, yes, Seems to have resolved all their issues as far as Snyder with his, uh, question. with his boisterous more of an unknown celebratory poses. They've had some issues. They've had some injuries. And, yes, we're talking about movie trivia. They've had injuries. And now we're going to see all that come to a head here today. Yeah. What did he do, sprain his toe? As we know that if you've been following the Inner Geekdom League, you'll know that Jason Inman and Robert Meyer Burnett have had many, many words over the last few months. A lot. Inman tried to get himself a shot at the title, and Burnett told him to sit down. It didn't work out. Oh, shit. Um, they have gone back and forth. They've been yelling at each other. Burnett has embraced himself as kind of like this king. He likes to be the king villain. He likes to be the guy kind of spurting off saying how great he he's, is. As we're he's in great at it, man. Shot. But Scott Mance also knows a lot about Star Trek. These are three guys. Sure does, man. Hopefully Trek. they hit it on it's the wheel be, today. There's a lot of smack talk, and we're going to hear a lot of that smack talk from the competitors right now. Hopefully I'm recording. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Good shit. Good shit. We are Team Trek. We are Team Trek. Mance and Inman, and we are back. We are Alien back. Frequency is open. Wait, 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 oh, wait. shit. back because that last match was bullshit. The Hell, another the ship. Was bullshit. <laughs> hold, on, oh. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Just like what? What the fuck? <laughs> We won it. Everybody knows that we won it. We Dude, did he hit the button the hardest? Prosper, but now we are back. <laughs> man, I have been so glad to fix that buzzer problem, long, man. Long time. Inman and Mance together? Are you kidding me? Two guys that think they know about Star Trek more than I do? Oh have you my seen gosh. my inner geekdom Star Trek stats? 100%. 100%. Robert Meyer Burnett says he is the all-time king of Star I really Trek hope they hit it on the wheel, man. It'd be the best. Uh, has he ever gone up against the Mance? I say not. This is a, I, not a Denise. I've actually looked forward to this matchup. Mance. This is called a do-back. I know you don't Hell know yeah, that it, is. it has nothing to do with Star Trek. This no, is the Funko do-back? It's a whole different star in anything. So just get ready to get slaughtered. You're in the way. Oh, what the fucking do-back, man? Put it up on the hole. You're, you're, you're great guys, but you just got to get out of the way because we got to settle some stuff with the Patriots, JXL, and the Slider, Hell whatever his name is. Is. Those guys have got to go. Dude, They're JXL no and we the slider. God help those patrons. <laughs> when? Not if, but when. When? When? <laughs> take them on again, and they will know for sure because they There's were sweating. They, were sweating. they knew that we were. They, they, they were. They were nervous about yes. Team Trap because we yeah. were just kicking ass that night. Only That's ass, right. Huh? Lost by one point. Yes. Fucking love this man. Inman, it was on the set of the <laughs> inner geek to battle I had with that pipsqueak, that little runt of a man, Hector. Woo! He is Inman tiny, bro. And thinks he could take us. I mean, really. Dude, America's big bodies will crush him. I don't even have to take him on again. I gotta take on like right and smiling Jeremy Johns. I mean, who can't beat Jeremy Johns? You gotta man, plow right through that. Lives it up like to get the Navarro, bro. Spouting all kind of lies. We need no to stops. Shut that down. John Schnapp, I feel bad for the guy because he's nice. He's lovely. I have dinner with him regularly, and he gets he's gotten pulled into this villain's den. Don't worry, man. He's gonna take you to dinner. We have to take them out because we have <laughs> he's to. He's gonna have the you for dinner. The heroes are the only thing stopping us from claiming our victory. Come on. Team Heroes, it's about a little loose frame right there. And become the Justice League of the Universe. Oh. Can't agree more. Can't agree more. Look at Boy Schnepp is ready. 
And ready for you to bring it, bro. They are all screaming and yelling at each other. Mance doesn't know any other volume except screaming and yelling. But, but, oh, but, the, but the fact is that Mance really wants that he's a, he's shot. A brother, he's a fellow brother in loudness. Inman wants that shot again. And so does Burnett. Burnett has tasted gold before. I'm so loud my wife closed the door. Again. And I love matchups like this where you have individuals who have sweat some beef. Like what you mentioned Fuck. with Inman and Robert Meyer Burnett. But all four of them, like you said, I think this could come down to a different galaxy or at least oh. in outer space everybody in this match today probably paid to see wing commander opening weekend Good. all right don't put that on him don't put that on man let's just fucked up similar the strengths are <laughs> team trek comic Obviously, book sci-fi not caring too much oh no comic book oh movies. no and then you look at the other side. Comic Strength. book movie release dates and yelling. Comic yeah. book movies. Do all and the yelling. Both are look at these fellas posing. Keeping the other one calm. <laughs> Christian, what's that in the studio? Is it a fire alarm? No, it's a nerd alert. Get ready, everybody. Boo! Right, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. I just said I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time deed. for the movie trivia showdown. <laughs> Introducing first. Here we go. Oh shit, yo, Dark Knight? Representing Batman Begins? Collider with a record Boo. of two Boo. wins, one defeat. They are the number seven Boo. ranked Boo. contenders. Boo. Let me rank these open intro introductions, man. The these entrances. Robert, Meyer, Burnett, and Big John. Big John Schnipp, oh shit. Yo, flex on them, boys. What? Look at this throwing up signs. Who step is gonna pit that dude back? Oh lord. Oh my god, yo, look at that. I love how Schnepp gets in the camera, man. It's the best. I give that entrance. I give it a three, man. Points for originality with that dude back, Dark. I give it a three out of five. Alright, what you got for me, Mance? What you got for me, Edmund? We're gonna come out in costumes? Before, what about next generation uniforms? Them shit's a killer. Those wins, are the best uniforms. That's right, I said it. They are the number two contenders. Better than the original series. Jason, man. Justice, Inman, Come on now, fellas. Scott oh Trav shit, yo, they brought the equipment, man. They got tricorders and faces. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Yo, they're searching for new worlds and life. Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? Yo, this motherfucker thinks he's Dr. McCoy on spot. I see you. The winners. You think you won't leave with the W in men? I see you. Hope you're not holding that L close to the chest. Oh, he's about to zap him. Yo, did Ellis just call that that tricorder a PKE meter? Oh, Ellis. Oh, yo, Ellis, you gotta step it up. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> the JJ and Star Trek is good. Woo! Yo, we already popping off? Oh, man. I like the Abrams Star Trek, too, man. Yo, the beef is real. It's also about watching Deep Space Nine, which is something you don't do. Oh! Oh, man, what the fuck? Yo, Deep Space Nine, bro. That's only one of the best Trek series. Any questions are even asked, and Scott Mance making the Yo, classic Bond you. villain mistake of having a weapon ready to shoot Burnett, but instead talking too much. All right, well, Deep Space Nine is off the chart, bro. Mark, before we <laughs> don't tell me, don't it. tell me you Let's like Battlestar Galactica, but you don't like Deep Space Nine. Come on, Mance. In round Come on, bro. One, you will get a the one brother that gets some command position, you won't sleep on him. Terrible. Question, the Cisco is the shit. All right, on the white Cisco. When you're asked to reveal. Your answer, say it. Mance might give you, you a give you a notch down, man. Each By the way, um, point. Obviously, there is no I give him, I give him three point five for that introduction. No for that, for that, Keep no in mind, over there, for that entrance. These are from eight different categories, as well as Team Trek gets a three point five. We have the JTE I appreciate the equipment. Rule. Fondly named because you are only allowed to ask the host to the classic. three times. I was about to call it a PKE, man. Oh, my God. A classic truck order. You are allowed to pronunciate to a point, and we also have the challenge rule where you are awarded one challenge if you're not sure a call You got to get at least 95% close to the name. If is upheld, then you get another challenge in your pocket. All right, are you guys ready? Team Trek, are you ready? Is that challenge per team or per person? Per team. Per team. Okay, come on all right, so Team We're Trek, We're trying to get away with shit, Inman. Team Trek, I, I, I see you, Scott I see what you're trying. Okay. Oh. I think he was named after a man-ant. 
Oh, man. Scott right. Mance. Oh, oh, Robert. Uh, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> you know, like, who directed that? Uh, Joe Dante. Oh, good for Some you. Oh. oh. And what year oh. did it come out? 93. What? Do the bullets? The match has not started. Team You're getting Mance warmed up. Ready. Uh, yes. We have to be ready all the time because you never know when the world needs a hero. Then Ooh. let's get ready oh. to Schmona. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Let it commence. I will be asking question one as I search Scott Mance's lineage on Ancestry.com. <laughs> that would be Ancestry, question wouldn't it? Ancestry. Might be, you might be surprised. the realm of action-adventure films. All right, and your here question we go. is thus. In which film does Jack Ryan's family get targeted by a splinter faction of the IRA? I'm going to say it's either Clear Present Danger or Patriot Games. Yeah, it hurts more. I will go with Patriot Games. I think it's Patriot Games. Five. I don't think it's Some of All Fears. Three. Doubt it's that. It's Patriot Games. down, please. Schnepp. Pens down. All right. And Mance, please show the board. Right hot and heavy, boy. What is that? Say it, please. Patriot Games, 1992. Correct. 1992. Patriot Games. Correct. In All right. Game. Patriot Games. Correct. Oh, yeah. Schnapp. Let's go, Schnepp. Batman. Oh, of course. Wait, do I get an extra point for putting the year down? Uh, no. That's a nice boost. That's right. a nice boost. I got to say. Yeah. You get That's my number one. You get an extra point if you let me uh, get this game going faster. <laughs> and, uh, category of animated. The townspeople <clears throat> of Swallow Falls can only afford to eat sardines at the outset of what movie? The townspeople, you haven't? Oh. Swallow Falls can only afford never had a sardine? to eat sardines at the outset of sardine what Sardine and crackers, movie? man. That's an American classic, bro. I'm sorry. Never had sardines in my Are they fish? <sighs> they don't smell well. Are, were they Five, alive at one point? I know they this. Four, three, two, I want to say it's an animated one, movie, but I can't. And Robert, pens down, Schnepp. I can't what remember what it's. Doc, get points, Schnepp. A shark's tail? Incorrect. Nah, Inman. That's not that. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? That's correct. That's one it. Point. Schnepp. Fuck. I'm swallowing. <laughs> oh, Little Mermaid. Caught it with the chance of That's meatball. Correct. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Schnepp not taking the game as serious as we think. By the way, the hey. yes. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Never next uh, Your guess. next question comes Looks like the homie the uh, Burnett is going to have to pick up the slack. In the film, being Shit. John Malkovich, John Cusack's character Craig is married to Lottie, played by whom? I want to say Cameron I Diaz. I thought you were going to say Lottie. Pretty sure it's Cameron it. Diaz. She looks Lottie. radically different in that movie, though. Five. But I guess that's the four, point, right? At least, at least her. Two, one and Inman. Is it real world Diaz? self. Correct. Schnapp. Cameron Diaz. Oh, Correct. he's back. Mance. God damn it! I can't get this. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Cameron Diaz. All right, there you go. All oh, right, good so, shit. Good shit. Track keeping up six to three there, and the crowd just died uh, in the middle. Can of never that get room. this right, man. I need to kind of adjust this. I forgot about our table. joke. Huge fans of Cameron Diaz right yeah. here. Yeah. All right, next category. <laughs> Huge. Coming up, doesn't she? Yeah. Category of drama. Ren McCormick moves to a sleepy southern town from what northern U.S. city in 2011? Footloose. He word in there 2011's footloose. Right. Well, I think Ren in the McCormick original he came from Chicago. Sleepy southern town from what northern U.S. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't come from Chicago footloose. in the remake, though. By friend of the show, Craig Brewer. You gotta cut loose. Go ahead. Kick footloose. off your Sunday everybody shoes. Cut loose. Everybody, everybody. I've That's right. I've never worn Sunday shoes. Five, four. The Kenny Loggins, baby. Three, two, one. I, I'm gonna say New York. Pluto. Definitely not Pluto. Your ship you could have said Ontario. <laughs> Anything. Incorrect. Damn. Philadelphia. That's a nice guess. Oh man. Yo, Boston for real? My answer was for Josh McCuga. Well, they gave you a big fat fucking zero. <laughs> Oh, shit. From Chicago. Uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, see. Your next we question. Said 2011. Is family films. <laughs> Your guessing game ain't strong like McCookas, though. Slightly nerdy Zelinskis are headed oh, by an inventor father in what? 1980s family class. We're talking about Honey, I Shrunk the Motherfucking you like Kids. You like classics? We shrunk them jits. Yeah, Milo and Otis say, uh. Because fuck them. <laughs> pure fantasy. Uh, pure fantasy. That's how I parent. <laughs> like fantasy, not fantasy. Five, four. Oh my god, the kids. Honey, I shrunk the kids. There you go. Point, uh, Robert. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Correct. Hell yes. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Let's go. Honey, I shrunk the fucking kids. Hell yeah, you did. Right. So let's talk about your wings in the skin in the building. He's awake. All right. <laughs> He's Next awake. Next category in the category of fantasy sci-fi. I want to believe 
is the title of what sci-fi movie sequel? I want to believe... They need to phrase that a little bit better. I'm going to say X-Files, but I want to believe is, 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 is the sequel in the sci-fi movie series. They should have rephrased that. That's, that question is a little vague. I mean, I, it should be X-Files. Watch X-Files? Correct. Yeah, Fight the Future was the first one. That's right. X-Files. Hell yeah, bro. X Files. There you go. All right. So, look, <laughs> Yo, attacking the Sylvester. Goofing around. He still has three points now, and it is ten seven. He still thinks Pluto is a northern city. So That's let's not give him. Yeah. <laughs> really, 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 it, it really north. north. Let's go. It's mad north. Next question from horror thriller. Uh oh. Which James Wan spun horror series revolves around demons preying upon the Lambert family? I that is Alex John Lambert. Did you really? No. No. What about Christopher, though? You just made up a well, Christopher, bro. Like to make up front. You that is Insidious, really though. Friend. Insidious! Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Robert Meyer Burnett. Insidious. That's no, correct. In no, Mance is ready to clap. Conjuring. Incorrect. Nope. Yeah. Conjuring. Incorrect. Oh, Man. damn. Conjuring. Incorrect. They're kind of like... The Warrens. Very nice. Yeah, it's the Warrens, yeah. Oh, but it's definitely yeah. Insidious. Close here. That was big. Yeah, but they yeah, were made so big. close. The first, Those two movies are made so close together, it's easy to get them confused. next category, your final category... The category of new releases. Ho -ho. Which actress played Katherine Johnson, along co-stars Olivia Spencer and Janelle Monae in Hidden Figures? Yo, we talking about Detective Carter Katherine Johnson from Person of Interest? Talking about Cookie Son? Janelle Monae in Hidden Figures. We talking about Taraji P. Henson, baby. I come on. Come on, you gotta come at me harder than that, bro. Spelling me? I'm on the D list. Five. The D list. Four. It's Three, better to be on the Dean's list. Two, one, down, please. <laughs> the Dean's list. Nimmin. Is it Taraji Hansen? That's correct. Oh man, you forgot the P, bro. Step. Davis. Davis. Correct. Is it Jim? I mean, Mance. <laughs> that would be Taraji That's P. That's correct. Oh, 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 oh. My answer there, still counts. <laughs> that hot empire actress. Oh, hey man, you tried, bro. At least you knew what, so what show she was in. Keeping a big four point lead with those two points there. From Trek, Shit. that was a big round to end round one. Oh, That's this right. gap is Christian's widening. There's going to be a lot of fireworks going off in round two because as the wheel comes out, we have a lot of categories on there. These gentlemen fucking are arm. salivating at. In round two, each team gets right. a spin at the wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you Swing are allowed it. to spin again. Then whatever you spin, you must stay on to answer six questions from said category. Each question Gotta get this robot penis point. just right. If you're not sure about the go. answer, Fuck it. you can go to should be close enough. Point, My voice is registering. That's all that matters. Fuck. One. Testing one two. All right. There is stealing in microphone this check one two. What is this? Your teammate prior to answering. All right. So Trek, you guys are up by four. Would you like to go first or second? We want to make it so and go first. All right, make it so. Look please. at this guy. This is the court. All right, Jason, big spin. Right. Hope you land on Star Trek, bro. I need to see <laughs> Star Trek hit the wheel, man. Come on. Land on your best categories. They want Trek. They miss Trek. Oh man, fuck. I see them three faces, I, my penis goes soft. <laughs> I want to click, I want to change the channel. Woo, fuck that category for real. Yeah, shout out to Mance. Oh man, fuck. Oh, come on! What is this bullshit? Oh, that's earth shattering, dude. Is the wheel ripped? Yo, it, right, it feels like it sometimes. That shit happens more that. often than not, yo. Man, yo, yo Frankie Janice, man. Frank Janish? How often does that happen, bro? That's happened several times. At least three that I can recall. Six questions. Six questions. Hey, my phone is popping off. All right, so and your pattern right, indicates two dimensions. Man, I, I got faith in your reviews. I'm laughing at your superior intellect. Hope you remember this shit. Because this round is you're going down, buddy. All right, the category of raw comes. Question number one. What city does Cat travel to? to be a maid of honor for her younger sister in the wedding date. Oh, we love that movie. I've never seen it, have you? Oh, my yeah, God. Together. Is that true? I have a friendship with you. I don't fucking know. We are going to uh, play it safe and go with multiple choices. It's definitely right. a blind spot a, in my Paris, game. I acknowledge York, that. C, Los Angeles. D, London. London. I'm going to just guess. Fuck it. It's fucking horrible. Five. Paris. It's incorrect. Ooh. And what's the question again? Holy, that that's gonna count. That's gonna count as one of your repeats. What's that? That's gonna count as one of your repeats. Do you want to use it? Yeah, don't waste it on this. No. No. All right. You just just, just guess the city, bro. Uh, this is hysterical. New York. Incorrect. Look nah. for London. Ah. Right, Come on. Hey, my guess was correct. I'm Joey mind fucked. in the face 
and 10 things I hate about you. Again, I'm mind fucked on these questions. <laughs> I don't know shit. Character or what act, what actor actress? Oh, character. I know in my look, if I was on the slowdown, I'd spin this fucking you. category. I know it came out in 1999, but I'm gonna take both choice. All right. Some <laughs> bullshit. A, Cameron. B, Patrick, I would be salty as C, fuck. Cat. D, Bianca. The sodium levels would be so high. Oh my god, y'all, I'll, I'll be fucking Morton's. <laughs> Cat. I don't incorrect. fucking know Bianca. Cameron. Incorrect. Bia Bianca. Yo, D it, again? I'm only going with the answers at a D. As a D's nuts. Seeing the team here is not being able to capitalize on tracks at all. No, no doubt. That's the genius of the category. Neither side knows what the fuck is going on. Pretty woman. I've seen this movie once, and that was probably when it became available to rent. We're gonna go multiple choice, and it wasn't Is my it choice a, to watch it. Karen, B, Cat, C, a. Kit, D, Kath. There's no way it's Kath. It's fucking A. I'm just guessing. Well, watch it be Cat. That came up Kit? before. That's correct for one. Man, there. get the fuck out. All right. So there we go. All right, hey, they got one. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Aldous Snow moved oh, in on Peter's actress ex-girlfriend. In this 2008 film, I know that fucking name. Aldous Snow. That is in on Peter's actress ex-girlfriend in this 2008 film. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. The crowd getting restless. I was about to say fucking get him to the Greek, but that ain't it. It's it's uh Five. yeah that's Sorry. that's that's Four Russell Brand's character. Is it A get him to the Greek? No. B super oh, bad. yes get him to the Greek. Yeah. Man, oh, it just that would be forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yes. Yo, my man came and swooped in like a fucking vulture, son. <laughs> Yo, yeah. yo, Burnett, baby. Oh, Bam. Scoops. Yo, he's so you know what? They got the clap. Here we go. They got the clap. Number five. Did they really? Snow reference to see now. <laughs> Our good buddy Freddie Prince Jr. Friend of the show. Oh, stars shit. As big man he's got a whole name after him. Zach Seiler in what 1990s rom-com? <sighs> yo, shout out to Freddie, but I don't know this fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this shit. Five. Four. Yo, who is Kanan? Is it A, she's all that? B, it's she's all that. He was C, in that. I remember that I fucking poster. You. D, Jawbreaker. I don't it's, think he was in Jawbreaker. Uh, she's all that. Yeah. That's correct for one point. Yeah. Oh, it's that. Point. There, it's that, baby. Yes. Climbing along here. Your final question, in which I'm sure you're very happy about. No. Catherine Heidel that would be too. Gerard Butler work in what industry in the ugly truth? Journalism. Uh, uh, broadcast news. We'll accept that. A TV slash news yep. for two points. Close Finally. enough. There yes. you go. A two pointer. Well and Christian, it seemed to that point Ooh. no one on the table knew that romance or comedy were even things, much less a combination. Right. Well, I know, right? Here's where they Who stand. Who knew they went great because together? If heroes lands on anything they are familiar with. They have a good chance to really take a strong lead. They can, However, they can sew up that fucking gap that really the quick. Trek is good at, say, a movie release dates or something. Are then they're Ste still Star Trek? Shot. But this, seven point lead going into round two. It, sure. Heroes is, is looking good. It's seven point lead, but all four of these men are in thriving relationships. Well, I mean, None it depends if they land a movie comedy. release dates. Right, here we go. That's our that's curtains. Yeah. Is, is it on the board? Yeah, it's on the board. Come on, land a Star Trek. Come on, I want to see. I want to see a duel of the Trekkers, man. Come on, son. Good spin. Okay. Could it be? You want to see that man's well, picture? Yeah. Oh, fuck that well, noise. Would you like to stay or spin again? Oh, I think uh, I like the Big, Big Willie style, but I'm going to spin again. All nah. Right, here we go. A lot of juice on that wheel. I'm right not crazy now. about Big Willie style. I used to be. Final spin. What are they going to hit here? What I mean, you until they try to wedge their kids into every fucking film. On there. Yeah. You have movie release dates, which is big. Woo, where we going? No. Oh, get the fuck out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look at those snippets come to play now, baby. Yeah. Yo, my boy's metal. Yo, the hype is into the building. I see you. That now, now Sh <laughs> Schnepp is gonna awake from his slumber. Get this go. damn straight. Punch in the gut. We can confirm. And you know what? Inman's right, on Team Trek. He knows comic right, book movies pretty question. well. He can Catherine steal. Heigl and Gerard. I doubt they're gonna miss a question <laughs> though. Your first question: in Comic book movies. The Wolverine and Man of Steel were released in what year? Oh, I know this man. 2013, son. 2013. Don't even fuck with me. Don't Five. even. Don't even fuck with me, gang. I so know Four. this. Oh, I know you do. I know you fucking do, two, bro. 2013. That's what two I'm talking about. Correct. All right. For two points. Two Already points. in the game. Your snap ain't fucking big, around. Yeah. Yes. If they missed that, Scott Mance was definitely gonna hit it. Your next question. Pull the sword out the sheath. Where shape. did Iron Man 
first face off against oh, Whiplash shit. in the film Iron Man 2. I fortunately know this. Monaco, the grand fucking prix, son. Monaco, son. The Monaco Grand Prix. Hell yes. Two more points. Wow. Yeah. This is why you pay Team Heroes the big bucks. Oh, Daytona yeah. 500. This Fuck it. Exactly what Craig didn't want to happen. For two this more. Is just called, this is just called flavor. That's what I want. Dude, the right, flavor so profiles, yo, Chef. Chef Snap. Promised to Steve Rogers. Oh shit, this is so easy. Crashed Red Skull's bomber. He promised to take a dancing, a dance, uh, dancing, fucking. Multiple choice. What was it? The <laughs> shindig. <laughs> Was it A, a dance, Thank you. B, fondue, C, a kiss, Yo, fondue, son. or D, her hand in marriage? Hand in marriage? We get a little, we, we, we move a little quick. One point. Hell yeah. There you go. Good shit. All right, still. I would have posted right through that motherfucking question. question. So far, yeah. your next question, number four. All right. Who played Senator Hammond in Green Lantern? I'm sorry, I fucking know this. Tim Robbins. Not to be confused with Hector Hammond. Both, both Schnepp and uh, Christian Harlow's favorite fucking character in that movie. Multiple choice. I'm lying, of course. Is it a, J. O. <laughs> that was Peter Sarsgaard who played Hector, Sarsgaard? but Tim Robbins C, was uh, was the senator. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. One more point. I couldn't even All picture right. J. O. Sanders if I if he told me his name. I can't. I, I can't remember what he looks like. Remaining, so we're gonna get a it's good probably in the movie though. Yeah. Taika Waititi's in that movie. Storm, aka the Invisible Woman. In that is Jessica Alba. Fantastic Four film. Uh, Jessica Alba. Yo, Schnipp is in the Team building, Team son. Yeah. Team wow. Woo! I let's go. That, but, you know. Hey man, we all do. We, you know it, gave you two points, I threw up in my points. mouth a little. Your last question <laughs> of round two. Who portrayed Wallace Keith? Oh shit! The victim who lost his leg yes. in the Metropolis incident in Batman versus Superman. Are we talking about Skid? Um, multiple choice. Scoot McNary, is it son. A. Ray Fisher. B, I enjoy I enjoy him on uh, Scoot McNary, a Holt and Catch Fire. Or D, Scoot McNary, baby. Scoot, baby. A two point lead Scoot. for Team Heroes going into the final against Team Trek. They didn't can never forget that man's name. It's so unique. Yo, Scoot. Only a two point lead. What's his Rom name? Scooter. Kicked Trek ass in that round because Woo. they had a big seven point lead. It's not that much of a difference, though, man. To have a strong. But they have every opportunity. Oh, this is to not get over. This here. is not an over by Still a long Still a tight ass game, y'all. So here's how round three works, Mark. Let them know. In round three, could still be a blow up, man. Going to get could still be a blow up. Questions. You're going to get a two point question. It's a block in my fucking face. Oh, Jesus. You must choose. See, it sits low. Who's answering the two? Yo, let me not fuck with it. it. It still hears my no, voice. That's all that matters. Fuck those. it. You can consult on your five-point question. What we there you go. Now, Done. Because Team Heroes win the lead, we need a set of three numbers ranging from 1 to 25 right. from you, and then three numbers from 1 to 25 for Team Trek. Those numbers correspond to our categories up. All right, Heroes, three numbers. Uh, what's each? Okay. Mix them up. Seven. Seventeen. Right. And three. All right, seven, All right. 17, three. I will be administering the heroes' questions. You may now get your numbers from Trek. Trek. We're going with prime numbers. <laughs> Trek, we're going to go with 18, 18, 6, At least two prime and four. numbers. Those Eight. are the numbers of the Starship Reliant All from right. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, released on June 4th, 1982. 18, what about the Reliant? Six. And look what happened to From D Space Starship. 9. Oh, oh wow. you know, the blow-ups are coming. Six, <laughs> four. All right, here we go. Out of the Enterprise is you certainly happened. love the monologue icon. <laughs> Team Trek, Ooh, you guys are up first. What? Your two-pointer would be... Yo, we being snappy now, bro. <laughs> Whoa, come on, man. This is you, baby. Come on. Come on, man. You know this. You know your westerns, bro. Yeah. Come on, son. I'll take it. All right. Ruka wouldn't come. run from westerns. Two-pointer. He would Who only run from Mel horror. Gibson's father in 1994's Maverick. Jim James motherfucking Garner. Rockford. Yeah. He was the original James Maverick. Garner for real. Right, this shit. That was a nice. We're Maverick. back to heroes right. now. It was heroes James gonna go to fucking their two to see if they can take Rockford, man. And Christian, their category. The fucking yep. dopest Oscar theme song movies. in the history of 70s television. Your question is. Who's Love taking, that shit. Oh, yeah. Who is going to be answering? I'll answer it. I'll do it. I'll take it. All right. Wow. Burnett is going to step up and answer the Oscar I think, I think movie two-pointer. I think you should let Schnepp answer it, man. That's two what points. What Danny Boyle movie took oh. home the Best Picture Oscar in Slumdog Millionaire. Slumdog Millionaire. Yep. Two points. Sir. That's correct. Two All right, points. so now we bounce back to Scott Mance, who they chose category number six. <laughs> category number six in the category of 80s film. Let's do it. 80s film. What ancient Philosopher gets to time travel <laughs> ah, yes. in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Fucking Soul Crates, baby! 
Yo, yo in the nose. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That would be uh, Socrates, man. Plato. Oh, that is incorrect. So crazy. Thank you. Socrates. You want to play those quads or some shit? So it comes down now. I'm gonna play those stepchildren. No. It is the five. No, you're not even in the same room. They didn't say name a philosopher. Now jumps back to Trek to where they can confer. <laughs> If Damn it! They miss this. Team oh, Heroes right. will win the game. Well, Team Heroes, man, let's go. Drama. Oh boy. Ooh. Which movie? Put them heads together, fellas. Susan Sarandon Put them together. And Ed Harris as a divorced couple, and Julia Roberts as Harris's younger flame. Yeah, Julia Roberts is definitely my fucking kryptonite, man. I don't know fucking. I don't fuck all for Julia Roberts, man. I know Ocean's Eleven and Aaron Brockovich, and that's it. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> I, I need to step up my Which Julia Roberts game. Stars Susan Sarandon oh. and Ed Harris as oh, a divorced oh. couple, and Julia Roberts as Harris's younger flame. It's definitely not Hook. <laughs> I know Hook. <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, oh shit! Atomic Wife. No. Is that a movie? Woo! My boys! My boys! Hell yes! Yo, look at shit up, baby. Flex on him, son. <laughs> look at this guy. Hell yes! Yo, look at, look at, look at Bernard Flossett! Stepmom! Oh, that's the hill y'all died on, fellas? Oh. I am so sorry, Team Trek. <laughs> Say, that match went to shit down. for them. <laughs> no. It really is. Yeah, man, they had they had the fight uphill, man. But you know what? So did Riley. Riley had a hard roll, and he beat that shit to death. He came back, but he did the crane kick in that ass. That's what he did. Sh up, shout out to Roka Dog. Shout out to both the of victorious them. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, Let me oh, just point oh, out. He's wearing the glorious <laughs> jacket. so much fun that I got to spank Jason Inman a second time. Man tries to interrupt my last match against that pipsqueak Hector Navarro. He says, oh, he can he's, take he's me. He's so pippy. What happened today, Emma? Did you see him take me? Did you see him take us? I don't think so. Look at Snip is beaming, son. You interrupt me as we were trying to start this interview here. Oh, I'm here. sorry. I apologize. Oh, that's a, that's a Yo, lot the of gentleman uh, villain. The gentleman villain. Well, I, you demand respect. Well. Oh, oh. Unlike Jason Inman and Scott Matz. Oh, shit. Anyway, TV Heroes <laughs> Victoria's here today. It was looking a little rough and down Yo, the there. birds, man. Admit, Give them some ointment. I was a little worried about whether you guys had particularly well-rounded movie knowledge, should we say, though I do respect your lovely drawing of Batman, Schnapp. Man, you know it was what? pretty cool. I don't really have respect for the remake of Footloose. Let's just be honest about it. Never saw it. Not planning on seeing it. Could give a fuck. But your, you know what? Your real talk? When I don't know the answer, I'm going to have some fun. When I when I get into the game, like I did a little bit later, I'm going to crush people. He turned up also, the nuts, man. Schnapp's strategy to play a little possum there. And by the way, Ren McCormick was from Chicago in the one and only Footloose. The one with the great Kenny Loggins song. Oh, hell yeah. Kevin Bacon and John Lithgow. That is absolutely The only true. Footloose that matters, now, apparently. Now, fortunately <laughs> for you guys, Team Trek got a pretty terrible spin in round two. Oh, really. that was the spin I for the ages. I couldn't have asked for a better spin. That is not, not the first time that's happened, twice though, man. Twice romantic comedies. They were fated to suck it up. Awful lose spins. On all, on all fronts on that. You just looked at them every time... Uh, Christian, I wait for the day that someone gets that category who's like excited for creatures, it. Like, staring into the headlights of death. <laughs> 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 staring into the abyss. To me that Scott Mann has a lovely wife, and clearly he's not a romantic. Oh. That doesn't last. Oh. Scott Mann's wife, I'm here. Yo, he's making his play. Be champions. You don't care who you play. Anybody's. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, anybody who's in our way is gonna go down until we get to the Patriots. So Yo, why is everybody going after Scott Mance's wife? First Roka. Yeah, no, the, the, the horseman all about Scott Mance's wife. <laughs> we save the world from the people that need save it needs saving from. Yeah. Mm. And I think you know, I will say this. What's up? The the outlaw is the one outlaw that I allow free. That I allow to roam the world because it's a better place with him than without him. I agree. 
Oh, Four Horsemen, okay. baby. Well, the four. Uh, congratulations, guys. Come get uh, it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll continue to see good things from these questionable heroes in the future. And we they don't got any straps right now, track. but they're, they're going to be strapping and up soon. All right, I see you. Team Trek, unfortunately, not victorious. Yo, I hate to see my man man today, sad, man. My, my I hate to see it. You guys had a really strong I'd have been happy for him if they won. Say is, are we really the losers because both of our wives love Star Trek and they don't force us to watch rom com So who's the real winners here? Hey, that is real my talk. Wife does my wife doesn't force me to watch some shit either, so. A little bit. So, so I feel like I should have. I my wife loves action it. movies and uh, genre films. That, She's all right. <laughs> so that's what you need, Scott. You need just like a, a secret earpiece so you can have a, a, a I third. A part. I needed to phone a friend and be like, <laughs> Yo, we got hacks? Like, like, what was this stepmom movie? Whatever. Oh, oh, I, just wanna, oh. I also want to point out that, like, we, like, I, I think the captain and I did a strong match today. We did a really good job because we were. Y'all did great well in spite of the circumstances. Too, uh, Robert Burnett talks about spanking. I don't know why he talks about spanking a lot. Hey, man. I, I think he's obsessed with spanking. He's uh, a Randy dude. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think heroes has ever won a match where they didn't hear comic book heroes on the wheel. Hey, you know what? They got lucky. We kept that's that's luck of the draw, bro. That wheel is a motherfucker. What the fuck is that? And they, they could have TKO'd us. Yeah, they could have completely knocked us out with comic book movies. They went to multiple choice on several questions. That's surprising that's when you have an inner, a former Inner Geekdom Championship member on your team that's very fair well really, uh, it's better to be uh, smart about it instead of has, missing uh, the question not to and then giving confidence. you a chance to steal so to the loss i lost with romantic comedies it's not like i lost with star trek in the category <laughs> or it's not like i lost that's with, a good like, point for release dates as a category oh, that would have been you. like embarrassing. you shat the bed on that category right before bro i mean your face is on the <laughs> you shat the, the bed on that category section see, see that what about. that would have been shameful but i was mind fucked stream it was mind fucked number one I take pride in knowing that we did not know Romantic Comics. We have you know, more important things to worry about. But we didn't, we didn't, we didn't bowl that round. We still scored points. Yo, Shatner yeah, confirmed. That guy from Multiple Choice. <laughs> you managed to hang in Yo, there. milk again. the fuck out of that, too. strong round one. You guys are clearly a, still a very, very good team in this league. So... What's next for you guys? Who do you want to take on next? Because you're clearly sticking around. Well, we're not going anywhere. Top but fucking you know ten. Who I think is going somewhere? I think the Patriots are gonna say goodbye to their belt pretty soon. And when the Patriots do, I think we want a real shot at correcting Buzzergate. Buzzergate, <laughs> yes. First off, you don't need to fucking fight top ten. I'm gonna say this now, Christian. If you're watching, down. top ten. And, and the challenge rule. We need to see Mads Roka three in teams. Or no champions. Come on. We're coming for the Patriots. Come on, please. And we're gonna give it to us. What has been done wrong to us in the past? Yes. That's just only a suggestion for me, goddammit. Not Eva or Eve or oh, Ava or whatever you're uh -oh, uh -oh. Emma, <laughs> I, We didn't use our challenge. Ava traversing. Right now. Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Wally does pronounce it Eva, and I have said that myself before on the Schmo's live show. So solidarity, man. Uh, <laughs> you heard it here, according to Emma, we can be champions. Should fought. Should have well, fought harder. I think that you guys definitely still do have the ability to They're potentially be champions, tapes. and we look forward to seeing you move forward in this competition and. Uh, Become the victors we all know you can be. Oh. Oh. Until next time, live long, live and, long prosper. and prosper. Live long, Back baby. Back to you, Mark and Christian. Oh, look at that. So obviously, you know that Team Heroes is calling out Patriots, and, yep. and, and I love hearing Burnett screaming at JT and Snyder. It's all wonderful <laughs> to hear. We don't know where that's going to be. There's so many contenders right now. The team, the team league is building up. But Team Track obviously upset. There are a lot of teams that they can play out there. And if Team Patriots is at home watching this or in their parents' basement watching this, you know they got to be nervous about playing either one the of these teams. Basement. They clearly know their stuff when they get their pie wedges right. You get comic book movies to Team Heroes or maybe even the Star Trek category for oh, yeah. Team Heroes, you better look out, Patriots. So you look at Burnett is also rubbing it. I wish you landed on Star Trek, man. One of these years really kind of competed, that we will finally give it up. Away from, with the victory. He's stoking that inner geekdom fire. Inman has been trying so hard to get it, Burnett, and this is just another bump, but I feel that Inman is going when to he's up against Burnett, it's his crypto tonight bro to do something this can't not, fuck like with him said round two screwed it screwed them like you, they were dominating in that first round so i think that we'll probably see trek sooner than later back in that's Ooh. right this matchup proves damn i had a long day Spot on hey you got to know your stuff in every movie category you can't just have one strength you got to watch your rom-coms and all you guys out there it might just help you out in the relationship department that is christian harloff I was Mark we're reminding you guys to go right now <laughs> To check out the movie trip. I say find a girl that doesn't like them shits. Page and also There's plenty of them out the there. Down <laughs> run down. You can get that on the Schmo's No Podcast Network. And click like, comment. That's how you get more of these big matches. Hell yeah. Matches, single matches. You heard the Thank man. You very much. And we'll Make sure you like and comment on the original video.
Yo, here comes here comes Makuga. Oh, yo. What's up, movie trivia? Yeah. It's Josh Makuga here with your fantasy update. Team Heroes pulling out the upset with 20 solid points. They know their <laughs> stuff. Hold on to them. They are a great, great deal. They are fighting people. Hold them tight. Like yelling about, about JTE and Snyder. They are forming enemy ships. We all do. Not friendships, enemy ships. That's right. A and enemy ships. For the Patriots. Hold on to them. They are scoring. <laughs> if you had Team Trek, they lost because they didn't know rom coms. What a bunch of idiots. Who cares what movies their wives like? They should watch all the movies. What a bunch of morons sticking them from Philadelphia. I'm from effing Pittsburgh. Don't be stupid. Trump, check. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Nobody wants it. Get rid of him. That's it. Josh McCuga with your fantasy update. It's Schmodown time. Check out Schmodown.com for all your fantasy needs from Frank Janish. And of course, the lovely people at the Schmodown right now. Schmodown.com, baby. Check them. Yo, Cody. <laughs> hey, guys. If Yo, my you man is suspended. <laughs> Also, make sure you subscribe oh, to our shit. YouTube channel. It'll help you stay Shout out to Ashley, Mo Ashley Moba, as always. Moba. I always say Moba. Like, I'm playing uh, a, a, a Moba. <laughs> let, me, let me fix my face. All right, so that's the episode, man. Another solid up, man. It got real tight. People got tight in the middle. That that category was trash. Oh, my God. Let me fix my face. I, I've... I've I, I, I don't blame the category. I blame my ignorance. That's what I do. If I don't know a category, that's on me. That's my blind spot. I made that choice not to pay attention to romantic films, Julia Roberts films. Uh, who else is on that wheel? I know Tom Hanks movies okay. Uh, like on that category, I do all right. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, oh, fucking movie release dates. I'm okay with that too. I'm 50-50 I'm on that. Yo, the 50-50 mix up. Yo, I, just, I get crossed up sometimes. Yo, man. <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, it was, a, it was a solid episode, man. Shout-outs to Team Heroes, man. They came through. They pulled it out at the end. Yo, shout-outs to Team Trek, man. They, they fought hard. They really fought hard, man. That, the, swimming upstream, man. They got swept up in the current, man. That sucks. That sucks. But, you know, they did their best, man. Um, but, yeah, man, before we go, um, we got some matches coming up. Some predictions popping um, as Team Trek versus Heroes. Uh, my my uh, choice, as I mentioned, was Team... Uh, Sorry, uh, Team Heroes. Uh, it was going to be a 6-4 matchup. Actually, initially I said Team Trek, but I went ahead and switched to Heroes because I just had a feeling they were going to pull it through. But initially it was Team Trek 6-4. I would say it was more of a 5-5 matchup. So if anything, I kind of changed my my, um, my thought on that in the last minute, and I'm glad I did. Um, Snyder versus McWeeny, uh, but that was also that was today, the 25th. On the 28th of, of April, it's going to be uh, Jeff Snyder versus Drew McWeeny. Um, and I favor McQueenie to win that. It's a 7-3 matchup. I think McQueenie is a strong player. That doesn't make Snyder a weak player at all. I think Snyder is a damn strong player. Matter of fact, against most players in the league, I think he would do very well. But here's the deal. Drew McQueenie is a bank of information. He has been he's been in a in the in the scoop game and in the news game actually a little longer than Jeff Snyder. He's older than Jeff Snyder. Um, a lot of you guys who went to uh, Ain't It Cool News may remember Drew McWeeny as I believe he was Moriarty back in the day. I used to read Ain't It Cool News back in '97 when I first got on the internet, and I used to go there all the time for all the movie news that was popping at the time. It was the spot to get your movie news, and um, Drew McWeeny kind of got his uh, claim to fame from being. Um, being a correspondent on that channel and his name was Moriarty that was his code name uh, now he's on more uh, he's more established under his own name of course now but you know, he had he had he had uh, beginnings like everybody else and McWeeny man anytime he comes to play he's a very strong player so um, I'm, I'm, I'm favoring him for that match um, next on May the 2nd is team action versus nerd nerds watch you know you guys know I'm going with nerds watch god damn it and that's also a 7-3 matchup. Yo, they got Rachel Cushing, and I think Ken knows quite a bit about genre. So between the two of them, Cushing knows a lot about genre. He also, she also knows a lot about classics and uh, and Oscars. So I think that Knapsack and uh, Cushing, they complement each other very well. They share a lot of the same interests, but then I think that um, Cushing keeps up on, on, on recent movies, and she sees more movies than Ken. But Ken, he, he knows his stuff too, man. He, he's exposed to the movie news all the time. So I don't doubt Ken at all. Uh, being that he has to do the news all the time on Schmoes No, uh, I honestly believe that Ken himself uh, is, he's underrated. And I, I think that he would definitely 
match up pretty well with uh, Rachel Cushing, and they did very well in their first outing. They were up against a team that may not have been strong as strong as them. Uh, I think it was a uh, uh, tough beats for their initial outing, but this one is a, a tougher match for them. I still think it's going to be seven three team action. I may be discounting them some. Um, I only seen them in one match, much like Nerds Watch. But to be honest with you, um, team action. I think they're more so into action based movies. I don't think they know Oscars all that well or classics all that well. I could be wrong. If there's questions asked about action classics, then they may actually be able to pull that out their hat. But <clears throat> I don't think they're the favorites to win that one. On May the 5th, it's Josh McCougar versus Dagnino. This is the worst matchup out of all of these, yo. First off, of course, the one that's going to walk away with the W is Josh McCougar. God damn it, he's going to be in there. And his uh, the matchup is 8-2. <laughs> Eight, two. It's the worst matchup out of all of them. It's gonna be a blow up. I suggest you bring uh, you, you bring your hazmat suit and and your your bomb gear. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a blowout. Shout out to Tom Dagnino. There might be shenanigans, and again, if there are shenanigans, it's anyone's game because they love to throw fucking uh monkey wrenches at Josh Bakuga, and that's a bullshit. But it's gonna happen. It's gonna be a championship type match, so it's gonna go five rounds. The goal is uh, Makuga wants to embarrass Tom Dagnino as badly as possible. But I think Tom is going to get some help somehow. And I don't know how that's going to play out. But it's going to be interesting to see, to say the least. Next on the 9th of May, it's Team Patriots versus Wolves of Steel. Championship match. Uh, it's going to be five rounds as well. And uh, it's going to be fucking dope. I can't wait to see how that plays out. Um, it's the closest matchup out of all these. It's 5-5. But I think the Wolves of Steel are going to eke it out. I think that um, it's really hard to call. Because one bad spin on that wheel, and it could definitely uh, cause Clark some trouble. I think that um, with Riley, um, the two of them together is a powerhouse. Um, but if, uh, when it comes to uh, the individual questions, that could be where they might stumble a little bit. But then again, JTE and Jeff Snyder also have blind spots too. So it's anybody's game, to be honest. It's a tough one to call. It's the toughest one out of all of them. But I'm going to give it to the Wolves because they've been on a roll lately. And I think... I think that uh, Team Patriots' time with the belts have done nothing against them. They've been a strong team. They've defended the belt, which is no other tag team has been able to do. So props to them. But I think uh, I think uh, Wolves of Steel is going to snatch that up. Um, next on May the 12th, it's Jeremy Johns versus Robert Meyer Burnett uh, for the Inner Geekdom uh, title shot and uh, the shot at the uh, at the match with um, with Hector Navarro. And I think that Burnett is going to take that match. It's going to be a 6-4 matchup for that. Uh, I think Burnett knows a little bit more than Johns, although Johns is no slouch. I think he's definitely performed well in the um, the Star Wars Trivia Championship and the um, the Fatal Five Way for the Inner Geekdom uh, champion. Well, not championship, but just the Inner Geekdom Five Way match that happened recently. Uh, Jeremy Johns has definitely surprised people, and I think he's a contender. I do think Robert Meyer Burnett though is just a bit more. I think he knows a bit more, and I think that's going to show in that match. It does depend on what. Is there a wheel? In that match, I'm guessing there's a wheel, but I've never seen a title shot match for Inner Geekdom, which, which is just one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe I have. I, I don't recall. I think the, the wheel is there, though. We'll see. Um, if there's no wheel, I think it's more even, but if there's a wheel, I think it's Robert Byron Burnett that might be uh, edging that out. <clears throat> On uh, the 16th of May, this is the match I'm probably looking the most forward to. Uh, I've been waiting for this a long time. I've been waiting for... Uh, these channels to collaborate on something for the longest while and finally it's happened uh, Double Toasted is going up against the real rejects and Double Toasted Favorite channel of mine. I've enjoyed them since they were spill. They went to Collider Studios recently and they the big meetup between them and Collider and real rejects, which is really dope man They all oh, were in the fucking same building man. It's really cool and I get to see them rock it Corey and Martin have been in the game for over 20 years, so they have a very strong collective knowledge. But you know, John and 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 Greg are no slouches either. Greg, he likes to mess around. He's kind of like he's very schneppish in his approach. But John sh came through during the um, uh, what was it? The uh, the free for all. He fucking kicked ass, and I I didn't think much of him as a as a contender in this league until that uh, particular session. So it does depend on the wheel, but I do think that he's definitely going to shine in that match. However, I think combined between Corey and Martin, you know, though I'm, I'm, I've seen Corey quiz Martin on things, and Martin's very good at trivia, I would say. But um, I've never seen Corey 
have to do trivia, so it just depends on how he plays off. I got a fucking mosquito in this room, Jesus. Um, I've never seen how Corey takes trivia, maybe once or twice, I guess, but not often, not as much as Martin. But um, Martin, I think, would probably be the stronger player in the team, but I do think Corey probably knows about as much. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. But uh, it's a 6-4 matchup as far as I'm concerned. I think that uh, Double Toasted has the edge up, mainly because of their experience and how many movies they've seen. Last but not least, on the 19th of, Mo of I want to say March, the 19th of May, it's uh, Christian Harloff versus William Bibiani. And it's hard for me to go against Harloff, but I got to say Bibiani is, he's slightly uh, the, the, the stronger player. However, I, I do call it as a 6-4 matchup. If that wheel spins on scores and soundtracks for Bibiani though, which is his bane of his existence, that becomes an even match straight up. <laughs> straight up. Right then and there. Um, not so much if it lands on Christian's favor because he knows that, that category. But if Christian lands on the favorable category for him and then scores and soundtrack comes up for Bibiani, that is going to be even kill for the rest of that match, I, I honestly believe. Um, Christian's a very strong player, though, I gotta say. Um, he's come through, he's made some mistakes, and I know he beats himself up for it when he doesn't win, but I honestly believe that it's gonna be a close match. I just think that Bibbs, he does, uh, he, has, he has uncanny knowledge. When I saw Bibbs, on uh, movie games over on Screen Junkies, and I saw him whiz through. I think he was the first contestant to whiz through all ten questions without busting a sweat. I, I I knew then that he would be phenomenal on the showdown, and he's had some rough spots on the showdown. I mean, it was rough for anybody in the in the free for all, but when he lost the JTE, and it was because of scores and soundtracks and his ignorance of, of that of that category, um, you know, JTE I think just got lucky. And, and they rolled the right thing, but um, yeah, Bibbs, I honestly think overall is is a is an amazing player, and it's going to be tough to beat him. It's going to be tough for anyone to beat Bibbs, let alone Christian. But I think Christian is a strong opponent for him. But uh, I do, I, I got to go with the odds, and I got to say that uh, Bibiani's going to take it. Although it'd be very cool if, uh, if 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 it's a close match. Regardless, we'll see, we'll see. But shout outs to everybody who watched the episode here over on the Schmodown Runback. Thank you guys for supporting this commentary. I really do appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave comments. I, I appreciate that too. Be glad to get some feedback. Uh, and props to anybody who came over from uh, either Christian's Christian Harlow's Twitter feed or over from the uh, Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Or uh, if you shared this with someone else and they're checking out the video, thank you for checking this out too. I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, again, I'm Sober Ryu with Shinjuku Station Podcasting. If you like what you see here on the channel, hit the favorite button. We also have uh, video game streams that we do. I'm uploading some uh, streams from our recent Nintendo Friday. So if you guys uh, are interested in playing Nintendo games, we're streaming uh, Mario Kart 8 this Friday uh, Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. So if you have that and you want to join us, feel free to do that. Um, information will be posted up over on uh, Shin Station, at Shin Station on Twitter, as well as at Level 9, L-E-V-E-L-N-I-N-E, -E -E, written out. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, at SoberIU, if anything, you want to keep up with what we have popping. In the meantime, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll set you guys free, man. Take it easy. Peace. I'm right with you, Red Three. Not a problem here. Object. I can hold it. Pull up! No, I'm all right. Pull up!